Here are some vinyl finds from a trip to New York. I got back yesterday. I was there for a week for work, and I only could spend one day looking for records. And so I went into Brooklyn and went to three or four stores, which I'm probably not going to remember the name. Went The first store I went to was Human Head, and looked at the bins. It was a nice store. They had lots of international, lots of singles, some psych, some rock. Uh, good three or four employees that were running around helping out. And in the new arrivals, I saw Jamal. I, this is a blind buy. I don't know Jamal, but I did hear reference to it recently. Uh, so I know it's a hard rock blues, I think from Texas. And so I saw this one and I thought I would pick it up. It looked like it's an OG. And it's got the Olympia beer sign, me being from Seattle, I know. I've had many of Olympia beer. Haven't played it yet, but Jamal. And then when I was looking in the wall, they had a whole bunch of stuff from Brazil. Apparently the guy from Human Head goes to Brazil all the time. And they've got this comp from 1968. I'm going to, it's a Tropicalia comp. I think before Tropicalia got big in Brazil, the artist released this album. Several artists released this album on, on the Philips label. And let's see. Yeah, it's Gilbert Gill, um, Os Matantes, Tom Z. And hacking up the names, Casano Velasso. Um, but really... Really interesting. I didn't think... I love the Osmontantes are high on my list, but the other bands I didn't really know. And now playing it over and over again, it's really good. Um, so I know there's like... There was 12 Tropicalia albums released in 1968 that pretty much puts that whole genre there. And I think they're all, they're all there. You can stream this, but it's... Uh, it's really good. There's there's some fuzz guitar. There's a little bit of psychedelia. Um, it's very very interesting. So these now this is now on on my map for sure. So that was on the wall, and I grabbed that, and then we've got Gal Tostas album from I believe 1960 68. Again, it is all. New to me, but I believe it says... Yeah. I'm assuming this is 1968. I don't know, but... The cover's great. I really enjoy her, her voice. This is a really good condition cover. The Brazilian that I've seen in the past, the covers have been really awful. The vinyl is super clean. I've collected Peruvian records for years and they're always trashed. And they'll say they're very good plus. It's really RG plus. But um, this was like really good condition. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with, with this. And then I guess the owner um, just got back from Brazil that day and I missed him. And then I had to leave and then I had to work the rest of the week. And then later that night, he posted that he's putting up all these records. Osmo Tante's first album is high in my want list, especially in good condition. He put that up and a few others, and I reached out to him. And he closes at 8. I couldn't get there by 8. By the time I was ready to get there, he had already sold them. But fortunately, Joe, who's in the vinyl community, helped pick up a few things for me, including... Gilbert Gill album which I've streamed it I haven't heard any of the vinyl but the vinyl is clean another one on that Philips mono label and then he also and Joe was nice enough to go buy them and then he came by where I was working in Manhattan with his son and delivered them to me and then I paid him and very nice of him to do that and then Gal, Gal Costa. This is another really good album. Great 
condition. Really, really good. I'm finding after streaming all these, I really like Gilbert Gill and Gal Costa a lot. So I'm happy to get this and I, I'm going to do a deep dive and try to <laughs> dig into the other albums by them. Again, they're all on these Phillips mono label. Really good stuff. Thank you, Joe, for that. And then Joe had recommended, what was it? I have to go to Captured Records. So I went over to Captured Records. They had like a Nirvana bleach second pressing on the wall. Second pressing on the wall, but they did not have the poster. And I'm definitely looking for that poster. But I found a bunch of older reissues. The Weeds, which is Fred Cole's who is in Dead Moon, and I've talked about him before. Fred Cole's band is his original band, and I just picked up a, a Weeds Lollipop Shop reissue recent, but this one is from like 20 years ago. That's been on my want list for a while. The Weeds. And then, in their bin as well, was Josephus. This weekend was the Austin Record Show. There was a few high-end original Josephus albums that I wanted. One of them, both of them were autographed. One of them was on the hookah label. And then this one was the second album that was on mainstream. And this one, I'm almost positive this is a bootleg, which now I think I have two of them, but I don't see Josephus much, so I pick it up when I can, um, but I I think they had the one on hookah, hookah autographed in Austin, and then the one um, in the mainstream autographed, and I believe the seller sold that to other dealers, and they put them somewhere else and raised the prices, and I don't know if they sold or not. I'm looking for an upgrade for my hookah one. Um, I'm looking forward to getting that one. And I'm still at Captured Records. Toad Hall. I don't have any Toad Hall. Uh, it's on my Discogs want list, so it must be something that I've heard and really wanted to get, but I don't remember anything about them. But I saw it. It was a good price, and so I thought I would grab it. Usually when I travel, I don't buy. It's a $25 record. I don't really buy cheap records, records that I can pick up here in L.A., or records that I could pick up easily if I have to like carry it on a plane. And so and, and I never see the Justice, so I definitely pick that up. Neighborhood Children. Let's see. This one was also on my list. This is a Sunday's reissue. The originals go for a lot, but I really I've liked the sound. I've streamed these guys a lot. And so and yeah, but but it's Sundays. I don't I've never seen this in LA, the reissue of this. And then I pick these up. Traffic Sound from Peru. Traffic Sound is one of the great psych rock bands of Peru. This was on the Lazarus Audio Products. This guy lived in Burbank. I think he still lives in Burbank. He was from Peru. Went to his house with my wife, who's also Peruvian. We went to his garage, and he had lots of records. And I lost contact with him, and I bought a bunch of stuff. So now... I regret not buying all his. It was analog from the master tape. Sounded really good. There's some reissues since that aren't as good. So whenever I see a reissue um, that says Lazarus, I've never liked this. Lazarus Audio Products from Burbank. I pick them up. And I've ha I have the re... I need the OG of this. I have the reissue, but it's like three, seven inches. So this is the first 33 that I have. I'm glad I picked this up. And again, from Captured Records, Zipper, um, which is Fred Cole's rock band from the early 70s. I don't have an OG. This is a reissue, but this is a 90s reissue. Lance at Permanent Records, I think, just put this out, and I just got that, but I've never seen this version of the reissue. So I had to pick it up. Again, a lot of reissues there that we never see in LA. I never see in LA. And then 
Trash and Burn. A lot of Fred Cole stuff. So Dead Moon, I've seen Dead Moon many times back in the 90s. And just a three-piece hard rock band. Um, Fred was in The Weeds, which is Lollipop Shop, then Zipper, and then Rats, which I need Rats, and then Dead Moon. I have all the OGs. This one was from 2001, and it was on Empty Records. It was a CD, so this is the first time in 2001 this was printed on vinyl, and so I'm glad to see a first pressing Dead Moon on the wall, and so I had to pick it up. Captured Records was great. I really, that was a great record store. I would go back to that place. And then in the same bin, Lagonia, etc. This is a, this is my number one Peruvian want. This is a reissue. Um, this is great cover. Um, the Peruvian f- has a, is a full cover of this artwork. I don't know why they kind of scaled it down. This is a UK... I think late 90s reissue of it, but it's really good psych rock band. One of the better ones out there on the cover is amazing. It's much like the the PAX album, just crazy psychedelic. Um, I pick up these reissues when I can. This is probably like the third different one. Still looking for an original of this. And then um, I went to the Academy Annex and a very nice curated store, but they really didn't have what I was looking for. I've been on a Psycon. Good jazz selection, but I didn't want to buy any jazz on this trip. And then went to work, and then one day I got off in Manhattan, went down maybe the 12th Street in the Academy, and coincidentally, um, another Josephus record. This is one that I talked about recently on a video, Get Off My Case. It was released in 1993, um, they recorded their first album in December 1969, and nothing happened with those tapes. And then they recorded again in March, and that was put on the Hookah album. But now in 1993, Neil Skoke of Kirkland, Washington, um, approached the owner of the tapes, which wasn't the band, and was allowed to put out this this record, which is the first recordings of Joseph. So a little different versions of the song. Still as Crazy Dead Man. But with this, they had two guitar players. And it's different and some say better. And I haven't heard this, but I am really looking forward. I'm glad to have it. There's a booklet in here with an interview and it talks about them. And again, this was the Epilogue Records label from 1993. And it's funny because I just, I guess Josephus has just been kind of coming my way and I did find, where did I find the single on mainstream Jimmy Jimmy at the same store and this is when they signed to mainstream and I think they only had one single, it's Jimmy Jimmy it's a promo on both sides it's not my favorite song of theirs but that is that is Josephus Um, those are my vinyl finds for New York I still have a box from Coachella when I went to Coachella I need to go through that I'm going to do a video of I just went to Coachella just to buy the records and I bought a box of records and then when I drove to Texas for work I hit a bunch of record stores and came back and have half a box so I'm going to go through those even though I did a quick finds, um, I've only went through that once. Well, that was my final finds. Thank you. He was in a simple days and sitting all alone. When suddenly there was...